Before the Big Bang, a preceding state is believed to have existed. Scientists are gaining profound insights into the early universe through the Big Bang theory, but a key puzzle piece is still missing, regarding what came before. This question ignites our curiosity and enriches our understanding of the cosmos. Science remains neutral on matters of divine creation, emphasizing the quest for knowledge to explore these mysteries. The fundamental query remains, what was there before the Big Bang? If we adhere to the idea that every event has a cause, we're confronted with a profound query. What caused the universe before the advent of time? In grappling with this challenging question, religious creation myths often introduce a divine supernatural being. Since time itself had a beginning in the distant past, the initial cause must have been extraordinary, an uncaused cause that spontaneously occurred without prior events. The Big Bang, credited with the inception of everything, urges us to contemplate what unfolded before its existence. This quest leads us to explore the nature of that initial cause. When contemplating the existence of eternal gods, the concept of timelessness becomes irrelevant as they transcend time's constraints. However, for us, time-bound beings, the question of what transpired before the Big Bang holds little meaning. Stephen Hawking cleverly likened this inquiry to asking what lies north of the North Pole. It's a bit like pondering who we were before our birth. St. Augustine proposed that time and space emerged with creation, an act attributed to God. Nevertheless, in the realm of scientific exploration, we strive to understand the early stages of the universe by retracing its footsteps, similar to paleontologists unearthing fossils from bygone eras. These remnants allow us to glimpse the distinct physics that prevailed during those times. This premise rests on our confidence in the universe's ongoing expansion, a process that has persisted for billions of years. The universe's expansion involves galaxies moving away from each other, influenced by the contents of the universe at different epochs. It's crucial to note that this movement is not akin to shrapnel flying outward from a central explosion. Instead, galaxies are carried along by the stretching of space itself, akin to corks floating down a river. The universe expands in a democratic fashion in all directions, where every point holds equal significance. Galaxies observed in far-flung corners would witness the same phenomenon of other galaxies receding, mirroring our observations. In the realm of cosmic flow, there are localized deviations caused by gravity, known as local motion. Galaxies in close proximity, such as the Andromeda Galaxy, exhibit such deviations, with some moving toward us. As we rewind the cosmic movie, a mesmerizing transformation unfolds. Matter undergoes increasing compression within a diminishing volume of space, while temperature and pressure surge, triggering the disintegration of molecules into atoms, atoms into atomic nuclei and electrons, and finally, atomic nuclei into their constituent quarks. This progressive dismantling of matter into its fundamental constituents occurs as the clock of time ticks backward, drawing closer to the explosive birth of the universe itself. Certain milestones mark this reversal. For instance, Hydrogen atoms dissociate approximately 400,000 years after the Big Bang, atomic nuclei at around one minute, and protons and neutrons at about one one-hundredth of a second. Through the study of cosmic microwave background radiation and the analysis of the formation of initial light atomic nuclei in the universe's infancy, we unearth cosmic fossils that guide us on this reverse journey. Presently, our experiments can replicate conditions existing when the universe was merely one trillionth of a second old. While this duration may seem infinitesimal to us, it represents a substantial period for a proton, allowing it to traverse the diameter of another proton a trillion times. In contemplating the early universe, we must relinquish our human notions of time and embrace the unfamiliar as we venture closer to the elusive T, time, equals zero, our understanding encounters limits. Ignorance becomes an impenetrable barrier, compelling us to extrapolate our current theories and hope for tantalizing glimpses into earlier epochs characterized by energies and temperatures beyond our laboratory capabilities. What lies even earlier remains a profound enigma. 
where the properties of space and time described by Einstein's general theory of relativity give way to the realm of quantum mechanics. Here, space is reimagined as a granular environment rather than a continuous fabric. However, our quest for a comprehensive theory of quantum gravity, such as superstring theory or loop quantum gravity, still lacks empirical evidence to validate their viability. Yet our insatiable curiosity persists, compelling us to push the boundaries closer to t, time, equals zero, even as we navigate the realm of uncertainty. In the 1980s, James Hartle, Stephen Hawking, Alex Valenkin, and Andre Lind independently developed three models of quantum cosmology. In these models, the entire universe is treated similarly to an atom, employing equations reminiscent of those used in quantum mechanics. This framework portrays the universe as a wave of probability bridging a timeless quantum realm to our familiar classical realm with time. The expansion we observe corresponds to the transition from the quantum to the classical, where the Big Bang emerges as an uncaused quantum fluctuation, as random as radioactive decay, bringing forth the cosmos from a state of non-time to one of time. While embracing such a model would signify a remarkable intellectual achievement and a significant leap in understanding the origins of everything, it falls short in one aspect. Science cannot operate in isolation. It relies on a conceptual framework encompassing elements such as space, time, matter, energy, calculus, and conservation laws. Just as one cannot construct a skyscraper without tangible materials, one cannot build models without fundamental concepts and governing laws. To expect science to explain the first cause is to demand it to explain its own structure. A quest for a scientific model devoid of precedents, concepts, and previous laws is an unreasonable expectation. Science, much like thinking without a brain, cannot fulfill such a request. However, Nobel Prize-winning physicist Roger Penrose has proposed an intriguing yet contentious model called conformal cyclic cosmology, inspired by a mathematical connection between the extremely hot, dense state of the universe at the Big Bang and the highly expanded cold state it will reach in the distant future, Penrose suggests that these states become mathematically identical in their limits. Paradoxically, a complete absence of matter could have given rise to all the matter we observe around us in the universe. According to this view, the Big Bang emerges from nearly nothingness, a residue left behind when all the matter in the universe is consumed by black holes, which in turn gradually evaporate into photons, vanishing without a trace. From a different physical perspective, the entire universe emerges from something that closely resembles nothing at all. However, even this nothing possesses a distinct nature, constituting a physical universe, albeit an empty one. The intriguing question arises, how can the same state be perceived as a cold, empty universe from one viewpoint and a hot, dense universe from another? The answer lies within a complex mathematical procedure known as conformal rescaling, a transformation that alters the size of an object while preserving its shape. Roger Penrose demonstrated how the cold, empty state and the hot, dense state could be interconnected through such rescaling, aligning their space-time geometries in terms of shape while differing in size. Although comprehending the identical nature of two objects with different sizes presents challenges, Penrose argues that size, as a concept, loses meaning in these extreme physical environments. Within conformal cyclic cosmology, the explanatory direction follows from the old and cold state to the young and hot state. The existence of the hot, dense state is intricately tied to the cold, empty state. Yet their relationship defies the familiar notion of cause and effect unfolding in chronological order. In these extreme states, not only does size become irrelevant, but time as well. The cold, empty state and the hot, dense state occupy distinct timelines. From the perspective of an observer within its own temporal geometry, the cold, empty state would persist indefinitely. However, the hot, dense state it gives rise to manifests in a separate timeline of its own. To comprehend this relationship, it may be helpful to perceive the emergence of the hot, dense state from the cold, empty state as a non-causal process. Perhaps it is more appropriate to describe the hot, dense state as arising from being grounded in or realized by the cold, empty state. 
These ideas delve into the realm of metaphysics, extensively explored by philosophers of science, particularly within the context of quantum gravity. At the frontiers of our knowledge, physics and philosophy become intertwined, difficult to separate. While conformal, cyclic cosmology may offer intricate insights into the origins of our Big Bang, it remains unproven, leaving the mystery of the first cause unresolved. One can choose religious faith or place belief in the notion that science will ultimately conquer all. Alternatively, one can adopt a stance akin to the Greek skeptic Pyrrho, embracing the limits of our understanding with humility, celebrating our accomplishments without the need to grasp all knowledge. It's perfectly acceptable to be left with a sense of wonder. Curiosity devoid of mystery lacks direction, and mystery devoid of curiosity lacks purpose. Ultimately, the exact manner in which the universe began may forever elude us. However, cosmologists diligently pursue their research, making significant strides in our comprehension of the pre-Big Bang universe along the way. The most robust hypotheses will prevail. We've come to the end of this video, and I kindly ask for your subscription and participation via likes and comments. It's more than an encouragement. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.